So over this last year we've been asking lots and lots of different people questions about the help that children with communication difficulties get. So we want to know what the help's like, whether it's good, what works, what's not so good. And we've asked um, all sorts of people. We've asked speech and language therapists, we've asked teachers, we've asked um, parents, we've asked children and young people, and we've asked the people who plan and pay for the help as well. So when we talk about support um, and help for communication difficulties, we mean things like speech and language therapy, um, teachers understanding about communication difficulties, it might be teaching assistants, all sorts of different things. And we found out five main things and we put them in our report. Um, we found out that um, communication is really, really important, but lots of people don't know that. We found out that the people who make decisions, so people like the government or your local council, they often don't think about children with communication difficulties when they're making their plans. And we found out that the help that children get is different all over the country and that's not really fair. So you might get really good help if you live in one city and then in another city if you live there, there might not be really good help at all. We also found out, fourth, um, that um, we, we know what the best possible help is but sometimes because there isn't enough money or there's not enough people then children don't get the best help that they can. And then last of all we found out that there are loads and loads of children with communication difficulties, but sometimes they don't get spotted, they don't get noticed.